Hi guys! Alright, so welcome to week 24. I cannot believe that I am uh, 24 weeks pregnant. Um, I have chocolate on my arm. <laughs> Which, you guys will see that video later. I just did um, chocolate covered strawberry. So yeah, you guys will see that video later. Um, but it's 10.30 at night and I'm recording because it's been a crazy weekend. So, um... I'm just going to hop right into the update just because I don't want this to be one that takes forever. You guys are going to notice that it's not being done on One True Media, so that way I can just keep talking and yeah. So sorry that you guys didn't get the nice beautiful intro that you guys are used to seeing, but it's <laughs> this is a little bit easier for me when I'm trying to actually film three videos. Oh, I have no. I have four more, I have three more videos to record, and yeah, so, um, anything happened this week? Exciting? Not really. No, we did a little bit of, uh, Baby Spice, which I will show you guys what we got. Um, we didn't get much, just because we... We already have so much, which, yes, Lindsay asked me to do a video of the stuff that we are going to be reusing. I will do that a little bit later, probably after our gender reveal, because it's really nutty trying to get ready for that. Keep you guys, keep doing the uh, days of anticipation in that. Um, yeah, so anything that's coming up this week. Oh, sorry, something did happen. We had our doctor's appointment. That's right. I probably should tell you guys about that. Um... Everything went okay. They looked at the stitches. Everything looks fine. Do not ask me what uh, medication they put me on to help stop the contractions. I'm on it daily. Um, they're not sure how it's going to work with me working. Cause they said most of the time they put you on the medication, they put you on bed rest. So we're just going to give it a shot. I don't start, unfortunately, until Wednesday because the for uh, pharmacy that I normally use, unfortunately, has to order it and it won't because... My appointment ended up running too late on on Friday for them to put an order, uh, to put the, the script in. So it came, they got it Saturday morning, the pharmacy called me and said we won't have it until Wednesday because we can't put an order in until Monday and then, so um, I hurried up, called back my doctor so that he gave me um, some, uh, he had the hospital fill it for me just to, for that little bit of time because he said the hospital typically won't fill them for a long period of time but he said they can do it until Wednesday because I said that's what they told me and they confirmed it so uh, but the stitches look good no infection they said I shouldn't have an infection um now after they, they've checked it <laughs> um so yeah um and this and seeing him after working a whole Whole, well, not whole week. I worked four days at eight hours. He said everything looks okay. So, anything coming up this week? No, um, except for Mother's Day that's coming up next weekend. So, remember Mother's Day, uh, for you know, I'll just say it now. Happy Mother's Day to everybody, just in case of my video doesn't get up in time. But, um, yeah, we're gonna go to um, the Cape. Um, on Saturday and my parents are taking the kids camping while they're there so we're just going up on the day on Saturday my husband and I are just coming home and then new kids until Monday morning <laughs> which is good uh, I love my kids but you know because before everybody says you know oh well then why are you having third? I love my kids it's just every so often any of you guys that have more than two. You know what I'm talking about. You just sometimes need that break, especially when you're pregnant, especially while, you know, when you've had a stressful pregnancy, you know, I feel, you know, guilty about not being with them and guilty that, you know, you know, I'm guilt I feel guilty because I'm not spending time with them. And then I feel guilty when I am spending time with them because well I should be resting. It's like ah so this way it I need to rest. I know the kids are in good hands. I know they're having a great time. Um, so yeah. And this is also when we take our annual family picture, which actually, um, I'll put it here where you guys can see, um, this is our first family photo. Um, 
And this I was, I think, 10 weeks pregnant with Tiny. And then the next one will be right after I had Tiny. So I think she was six months old. And then the next one is from last year. Um, obviously I wasn't pregnant or had a newborn. So this year I will be pregnant. <laughs> Very pregnant at the gate. More shortness of breath. Tired all the time. I even do that at, like, you know, <laughs> when I've been up for an hour. Um, um, it's hard to say because my husband always says that when I'm pregnant my um, irrational worries get worse. Um, so I guess that would be not really my reminder of pregnancy, it's his, because he... he um, like one of our babies buys, it was because I had a dream that the diaper bag that we had did not work. And then the, when I woke up, I was like, well, that's not really irrational. And then I started thinking about it and I went, oh my gosh, yeah, our diaper bag won't work. It really won't work with three kids. So we got something that's going to work more for the, for the two of us, at least, and the three kids. I'm so sorry. I know some of you guys don't like it when I yawn, but I'm sorry. I'm tired. My pet peeve with people recording is I'm chewing gum while recording. It's disgusting. It's like you wouldn't record a video while you're eating. Sorry, that's my pet peeve. So I figured if it's your pet peeve that I'm, I, I'm yawning, well, now you know my pet peeve. My stupid bra strap's not staying in. <laughs> um, and that's another issue I'm having. None of my bras fit, but I'm not going, and I'm talking about my bras that I bought when I was pregnant with my son that I was able to wear with my daughter. They don't fit, but I am not going and buying new bras. This is the last baby, so I am done. No more, no more bras, so I'm just going to tough it out and go braless when I can, which I really can't, so. And then, um, my weight. This is where I was saying my doctor was concerned about me going back to eight hours. Because the fact is my job is so physical, I have a hard time gaining weight in terms of just naturally. Um, we all we all joke about it with our job that in the summer we, we laugh because all the teachers go on, you know, they go, oh, I'm going to join a gym. And that's because, you know, if I don't, I'm just going to gain weight because all I do is sit home and eat. And we're like, come work with us. Most of us lose weight. Um, one year we had... Um, what was it, the other school, we had one of the uh, IAs come work with us because uh, she needed the extra money. Her husband uh, just got laid off, so normally normally she would take the summer off and, you know, he was working, but they needed the money, so she came and worked with us, and um, she ended up losing about, I think she lost 30 pounds, and everyone's like, oh my gosh, what'd you do? What, you know, what gym did you go to? And she's like, no, no, no. She's like, the best part of this, I got paid to work out. And all of us, yeah, we we all lose quite a bit of weight. I try, I kind of stay even just because I know the fact that our job in the summer. So I do eat more often. Um, but something about when I'm pregnant, I... <sighs> Even with my daughter, I was pregnant during the summer with her. I ended up losing more weight then than I did uh, at the beginning. So that's where my doctor is really concerned about heading into the summer where I, you know, they can see that I had an issue. So we're just going to, yeah. Sorry, this, is, this update, I feel like it's being rushed, but it is being rushed. So, um, yeah, so here is my belly shot. There is one for Tiny. There isn't one for Mikey, because keep in mind, this is when, um, with him, we just told everybody I was pregnant. Um, and then, you know, I still wasn't showing. Still was not showing at all. Nobody knew I was pregnant. Obviously, now I couldn't do that. So, you know, my tiny, uh, my tiny, my, um, belly shot.
Okay, so that is it for my 24 week update. Um, and keep in mind, because I know some of you guys will go, oh, you're at viability. Yes, I am, but um, keep in mind, I've said this before, that my doctor um, prefers 25 weeks. If he can push somebody, he doesn't count it, he said, yes, realistically, because it's that they have a 60% um, survival rate and they have a 75% chance of complications. Um, he doesn't like those odds. So um, that's why he counts 25 weeks, which hold on, I'm looking at my app because he, he said it's the same thing. That it goes to 70% survival rate and 55% chances of complications. That's why he likes, he counts 25 weeks as viable. Um, so, <laughs> so it's next week for me, Grady, yes, I know everything else says this week. Um, I've reminded myself that I can breathe a little bit easier, but I know next weekend I can, uh, cause that's what he's told us is that I had to make it to Mother's Day and then, you know, at least if I go into labor and they can't stop it, at least the baby has a fighting chance. Unlike when I was 18 weeks which even when I saw him, he he almost started crying because he's like, you know, I didn't think at 18 weeks, he's honestly, he said, I thought you were going to have the baby within a couple days. He's like, I didn't, you know, he's like, I felt, you know, helpless not being able to help you. So, so, and we worked out a deal. <laughs> Let me explain this. Um, he told me that he will be there for my C-section. If I, well, obviously if I'm under, then he would be there. Um, but if I make it too you know, 37 week to 39 weeks, because obviously, um, unless if I have a VBAC, and then he'll still follow me up to the big hospital um, for that. But if I make it to that range, he will wear pink scrubs the day that I either am in, you know, labor, and like you said, he will, <laughs> he will have them in um, his locker up at the big hospital. He said, or if you're going to have a, a, a um, C-section, he's like, I will wear them the day of your C-section. So so he will wear pink scrubs if I make it. So, And I told him, I said, that's not really between you and me. That's between you and baby. So, so yeah. So, And then also keep in mind, it's only, we are only 13 days away from finding out. So uh, go check out those videos and you can vote. I will be doing the old wise tales um, so that way... You know, because I know some of you guys are going, we have nothing to base it on. It's just a guess. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.